Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 17 before going ahead with Part 18. The problem says, at what temperature is the root mean square speed of an atom in an argon gas cylinder equal to the RMS speed of a helium gas atom at minus 20 degrees Celsius. So you have the atomic mass of argon is given as 39.9 units and that of helium is 4 units. So in this problem what are the things that are given? The temperature for helium is minus 20 degree Celsius that is 253 Kelvin. Mass for argon is given as 39.9 atomic mass unit. Similarly, mass for helium is given as 4 units. Now from kinetic theory, we know that energy that is the average kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 kb into t. Right? So what is this average kinetic energy? This average kinetic energy is nothing but half m v square bar. Why v square bar? Because we are considering average kinetic energy. So this is equal to 3 by 2 kb t. So 2, 2 will cancel. So from this we get v square bar is equal to 3 kb t divided by m. Now, what is V at? We have to find out at what temperature is the root mean square speed. So, what will be root mean square speed? Root over this. So, if you take root over on both sides, that will become root mean square speed. So, V RMS will be equal to root over 3 KBT divided by M. Now what is this? This will be equal to root over 3 RT divided by M divided by capital M. How is it? We know that KB is equal to R divided by NA. Right? Similarly small m, this small m is equal to capital M divided by NA. And this KB is equal to R divided by NA. So we get VRMS is equal to root over 3RT by M. So here 3 and R are 3RT. 3 and R are constants. So we can see VRMS is equal to root over 3RT by M. Now according to the question, let us continue it on this side. Now according to the question, V RMS that is the RMS speed of argon is equal to the RMS speed of helium that is V RMS helium is equal to V RMS argon right. So what will be V RMS helium that will be root over 3 R temperature of helium divided by mass of helium this is equal to root over 3 R temperature of argon divided by mass of argon. Now this 3R, 3R will get cancelled. So we can say that temperature of argon is equal to temperature of helium into mass of argon divided by mass of helium. Now we can put the values. Temperature of helium is 253 into mass of argon is 39.9 divided by mass of helium is 4. So this comes out to be 2.52 into 10 to the power 3 Kelvin. So this is the value of temperature at which the RMS velocity of helium will be equal to that of argon. Now let us go ahead and look at another problem. Problem 2 states 
A flask contains argon and chlorine in the ratio of 2 is to 1 by mass. The temperature of the mixture is 27 degrees Celsius. Obtain the ratio of average kinetic energy per molecule and root mean square speed of the molecules of the two gases. So let us first solve the first part. From kinetic theory we know that average kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 kb into t for all gases. Right? Now if the question says that the temperature of the mixture is constant that is at 27 degrees Celsius if the temperature is constant, then the average kinetic energy for both the gases will be the same. Therefore, the kinetic energy. Let us suppose kinetic energy of first gas is E1, kinetic energy of second gas is E2. So, if the temperature for the first gas is T1, then the temperature and the temperature for the second gas is T2. Now, if Temperature is constant that means T1 is equal to T2 is equal to 27 degrees Celsius. Therefore, T1 will be equal to E2. So, the ratio of the kinetic energies will be equal to 1 is to 1. Now, let us look at the second part. Here we have to find out the ratio of the root mean square speed. Just now in the previous question, we saw that VRMS is equal to root over 3RT by M. Now, using the relation for VRMS, quickly recall the previous question. In the previous question, we found that VRMS is root over 3RT by M or this is equal to root over 3KBT by M. Right? So, we can say that VRMS 1 when we find the ratio so we can say that the ratio of the VRMS is equal to M2 by M1 that is root over what is M2? M2 would be the mass of argon let us suppose if this is for argon 1 is for argon and 2 is for chlorine. So this M2 is chlorine and M1 is argon. So chlorine by argon would be root over 70.9 divided by 39.9. This comes out to be root over 1.77 which is equal to 1.33. So this will be the ratio of the RMS velocities of the two gases. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.